Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Welcome to the class. How was your day? It was a little easy, teacher. Nice. Very good. Very good. How about you, Jamie? How are you tonight? Hello. Hi, okay. How was your day? It was so... <laughs> so... I don't know. How can I say? Calmado. <laughs> Quiet or calm? Oh, it, it was cold. Okay. I was in, in the house, rest. <laughs> uh, but, but it's so cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold so, so. or hot? Cold, hot, hot. Ah, okay, got it. Yeah, definitely. In, in my city, it's the same. It's totally hot. But yes. anyway, <laughs> I <laughs> hope it does start to rain soon. Um, is it rain in your cities, everyone? Did it rain today or during this week? No? No. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I hope uh, we can have nice weather soon. Okay, let's see. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. Who else is there? How are you, everyone? How do you feel tonight? Uh huh. I can see Isabel. How are you? Hello. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How do you feel? I feel good. How was your day? Yeah. My day, all good. Thank uh -huh. you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. I can see Holman too. Hello, Holman. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, I have a problem with my 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 camera. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm fine. I am tired, but I am fine. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And uh, well, let's see. I can see Fatima too. How are you, Fatima? Fine, fine teacher. <laughs> How was your day? Tired, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess most of you have been tired. And I totally understand. We are about to finish this week. So I know I know that you might feel tired. So let's see. Uh, I know that some of you are working because it's a very heavy week, right? Um, and I know that that's the reason why some of you are listeners, right? Um, so, I totally understand, no worries. Just remember, if you will be listener, I mean, it's all right, but if you can participate, do it. Remember that the idea is the more you practice, the more you improve. Now, we're going to start today's class. It's Thursday, everybody. And remember that just tomorrow and we are going to have a little break. So you can relax, you can rest a little bit, okay? So try to look at the bright side. Well, let's start. Um, before starting, everyone, uh, let me share the platform, okay? Remember that it is necessary to always advance on the platform, okay? Let me try to do it bigger. Okay, can you see the platform? Yes. Yes, Jim. Okay, excellent. So we are working on the week number two, 
All right, some of you are about to finish the week number two, so that's great. Some of you haven't finished still the unit number one, so be careful. But so far, so good. I can see most of you are working on the platform, so that is great. Excellent. Now, um, if you remember, I told you that in the week number two, right, we are in the section two, we have the exam, okay? However, uh, this unit, the unit number two, is a little bit long. And there are some topics of the unit number two that we are going to see the topics until maybe Monday or Tuesday of the week after vacations, okay? So I cannot ask you to do the exam if we haven't studied the topics. So what are we going to do? Tomorrow, we are going to see another. Today, we're going to study one topic. Tomorrow, another topic. And if you consider that you feel ready to do the exam, do it. But because it's missing one topic, so you can wait. I'm not going to ask you to do the exam if we haven't seen all the topics, OK? So um, try to complete the week number two, the exercises. I mean, the platform, try to do it. But the exam, we can wait. I mean, after tomorrow, if you consider that, yes, you can do it because the topic is easy. It's missing only one topic, I guess. So uh, if you feel that you can do it, I mean, try to do the exam. At the contrary, I can let you do that until we go back from vacations. Um, if you want to advance during vacation, the week that we are going to have off, also you can do it. There's no problem at all. So what I really need you to do is to complete the week number two. Please try to advance. And the most important, for the ones who hasn't finished the week number one, I mean, hurry up, you have to work on that. Now, details, um, during, the, during this week, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people with the camera off, right? I understand when you are listeners and you say, teacher, I will be listeners, so I cannot keep my camera on, and that's all right. But if you are not listener, if you are here in the class, remember one of the rules is that you have to keep the camera on. Because if someone from INSAFOR appears in the class, remember every single class, one of the uh, supervisors enter to the class and they see the people who has the camera on, the people who are participating, the people who has uh, the full names on your profiles. Everything is being evaluated. So I don't want you to have any problems with that. So if you are not listener, so try to keep the camera on, try to participate so they can see that you are here in the class. Okay, please, because uh, remember participation is also evaluated and I don't want you to have any problems with that, please. Well, I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Let's see, can everybody see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes, yeah. excellent. So today is March 30th and we are about to finish the week number two. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Oh my goodness. So you the don't... four PC, the marketing. <laughs> the, it's marketing. Okay. What else? Do you remember the vocabulary? Can you tell me some words that we studied yesterday? A few words that, a few words that we did practice yesterday. For example, affordable, 
Uh huh. Very good. Free. Pricey. 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 Yes. Uh, slim. Which one? It's slim. Ah, slim. very good. Yes. So Pricey exactly. Too. Pricey. Pricey. Yes. Good job. Uh huh. Very good. So that's the idea, everyone. I don't want you to forget the vocabulary, please. So this is the topic for today, pricing strategies conversation, and this is the class objective. Today, uh, the idea is to talk, okay? That is basically the most important thing about today's class. Um, the idea is to talk a lot. We are going to have a lot of speaking practice, so I really want you to practice a lot so we're going to talk that is the main objective for today and we're going to talk about modifying the price of a product okay and how can we do it and why do you do we need to change or modify the prices that is basically the main purpose for today's class. But before starting that topic, let's review a little bit the topic that we checked yesterday, comparing brands. And as your classmate said, we studied some adjectives, for example, reliable. What is that? What is the meaning for reliable? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Oh my God! Reliable, reliable, uh -huh. reliable, reliable letter B. Reliable is the letter B. Exactly. So, with your own words, remember, reliable is a person you can trust. In. Be careful with the microphones, everyone. Then we have helpful. Do you know what was the meaning? Do you remember it? All right. Correct. Good job, good job. How about affordable? What was it? Anyone? Letter C, not being too expensive. Correct. Good job. Practical. What was it? Letter H. Practical. Very good. Very good. Pricey. What is the meaning of pricey? Do you remember? Uh huh. I cannot hear you. Letter F. Oh, letter F. Yes. Remember that pricey is the opposite of affordable. Good okay. job. And functional. Do you remember? What was the meaning for functional? Yes, it's letter A. Aha. Uh -huh. Good job. Stylish. What was mm -hmm. it? Letter E. Correct. And the last one, elegant. We got the letter. G. So remember that yesterday we were practicing comparing. So the idea is to use them correctly. We were comparing some pictures using short adjectives and long adjectives. Let's continue doing uh, that practice. I'm going to share some pictures. Let's compare them. For example, I have hamburgers with french fries and I have a salad. <laughs> Can you compare them, please? Try to use short adjectives and long adjectives. What do you think? Hamburger versus salad. Give me sentences, please. Teacher. Yes? Maybe salad is healthier than, hamburg than hamburger. Very good job. Salad is healthier than hamburgers. Nice sentence. Uh-huh, can you give me another one? What 
What else? Let's try to use the adjective delicious. Hmm. What would be the sentence? Okay, everybody, let's participate. Give me sentences. Compare hamburgers and salad. Hamburger is more delicious than salad. Ah, very good. That's a good sentence. What else? Uh -huh. Try to use the adjectives that we studied yesterday. For example, pricey or affordable. What do you think? Teacher could be um, the hamburger or the burger. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the burger is um, coster. No, yes, coster than salad. Mm, okay, cost is a verb. What is the adjective? Remember, everyone. These words are now ah, very good, exactly. If we want to compare, we need to use adjectives. In this case, pricier. So we can say hamburgers are, pri uh, are pricier than salads. Very good, okay? Or in some scenarios, right, salads are pricier than hamburgers. It depends the place where you buy them. Very good. Okay, let's compare this one. Cats versus dogs. Give me sentences, everyone. Uh, the cat is, is quiet. Mm, but what is the comparative form? Quieter or more mm -hmm. quiet? What do you think? More quiet. More quiet? More quiet. Are you sure? Than the dog. Than the dog. Okay. That's quiet. Good... All right. What do you think, everybody? The adjective quiet. What will be quiet. the correct comparative form? Quiet. Ah, look. If we use quiet, is long or short adjective? Short. Short. So we are going to say quieter. So I we was confused. Yeah, no worries. So we can say dogs. Oh well, in this case, the cat is quieter than the dog. Okay quieter okay another sentence please what can you tell me about this because the dog because it's smaller than the, than the than the dog very good the cat is smaller than the dog yes very good example uh -huh. teacher could yes. be could be um, dog are dang dogs are dangerous are, are more dangerous than cats very good good example so the dogs are more dangerous than cats very good so if you see we are using short adjectives and long adjectives very good let's see another example i'm going to show you another one mm, let's pick this one we have a house versus an apartment can you compare them? The department? Mm -hmm. Apartment or department? Apartment. An apartment is smaller than a house. Okay, that's a good one. Very good. What else, anyone? House is better than apartment. Very good, very good. What else? Apartment is more security than 
house. The apartment. Mm. Okay, sounds good. But security is the noun. The adjective is safe. So what would be the comparative adjective? Safer or more safe? What do you think? Safe. Safer. Safer, very good, that's the one. So, which one do you prefer, everyone? Would you rather live um, in a house or in an apartment? I'd rather the house. A house? Okay, and the rest of you, everyone? A house or an apartment? In the house. A house. Okay. Okay. So, and the rest of you, why? Why would you rather a house than an apartment? Uh huh. Why? The house is more if you, if you personal. Okay, Oscar first. Can you repeat? The house is more personal, more, uh, more free, I feel. Mm, okay, all right. The, uh, the the apartment is uh, more people are around. Is... That's a good point. You don't have like more privacy, right? Because there are many other apartments next to you. Okay. Anyone else? Why would you rather a house than an apartment? I prefer. Oh, sorry. Okay, Magdaleno and then Jamie. Go ahead. I would rather a house because uh, because it's more comfortable. It's more I don't know. It's a house, <laughs> <laughs> so it's much better, basically. Yes. Okay, Jamie. How about you? What do you think? I go rather a house too because uh, in the house you can you can have pets. Uh, in the most in the most apartment uh, you can you can have. <laughs> That's true. No, because there is no space and all. That's a good point. You cannot have pets in an apartment. Well, in most of them. Very good job. Okay, so everybody, the idea is to practice comparative. So is it clear how we can compare using short and long adjectives? Is it clear? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Very good. So we're going to continue practicing. So please try to use correctly the adjectives. Now, we are going to have a listening practice. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes, okay, yes. we are going to continue comparing brands and we are going to compare these two types of cars. <laughs> we got Toyota and we got Mercedes-Benz. So, which one would you rather? Uh -huh. Okay, and the other ones? Imagine that you are going to buy a, a, a car. Which one would you rather buy? I rather, I, I rather a Toyota. Okay. For sure. All right. And the other ones, everybody, what do you think? I would rather a Toyota too. <laughs> oh, so everybody goes for that one. Why? It's cheaper. It's, it's cheaper than the, the component is cheaper than others. Okay, okay. So it's cheaper. What else? Which one do it's, you think is, is more? It's, uh huh. It's common. <laughs> it's more common? Yes, it's more common. Okay. Resistant. Can you repeat? It's more resistant. Okay. Could be, could be. Which one do you think is more elegant? Mercedes Benz, of it's course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Which more elegant. 
Which one do you think is more functional? Toyota. Ah. For me, Toyota. Okay, very good. So we are going to listen to an audio. In this audio, there is a man. He is talking about the two cars, okay? And you have to pay attention to the audio. And at the end, you have to tell me which car was his favorite, okay? This man had both. But he explained the aspects that he liked more about this one and the other one. So you had to tell me at the end what was his favorite, okay? But before playing the audio, I'm going to check attendance. And if you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Hector Francisco. Hector Francisco. Okay. Um, Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Oh, his listener, right? Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Uh, Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Juarez. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Magdaleno, he was here, right? Well, um, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Oh, he's listener. She's listener too, I guess. Okay, Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Very good. Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's start. Pay attention to the audio. Everybody, microphones off to avoid teacher, interferences. Excuse me, teacher. Um, I don't hear you. Oh, no. Name. Okay, I already checked your attendance. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Pay attention to the audio. Remember, at the end, you have to identify which car was his favorite, okay? Pay a lot of attention. If you don't listen to the audio, please let me know. I've owned a few different cars in the past. I had a Mercedes for a few years, as well as a Toyota. Obviously, there was a difference in price between the two, with the Mercedes being much more expensive than the Toyota. Out of the two, I found the Toyota to be much more reliable, as I never had a problem with it. The Mercedes, on the other hand, gave me several problems, and when it did, it was usually a lot pricier. So as a result, the Toyota was a lot more affordable, both in terms of price and the cost of running it. But the Toyota was also a lot more functional, which was good for day-to-day -day use, as it was a lot more practical than the Mercedes. But to be honest, it was also a lot less exciting. You could really feel the power in the Mercedes, and the design, wow, it was much more stylish and so much more elegant to look at than the Toyota. It was like a piece of art, inside and out. Their customer service was more helpful than any other I've used. Very quick to help with any issues that I had, and very polite. So overall, I have to say that I like the Mercedes more, even though it cost me a lot more time and money than the Toyota. Okay, everybody, did you listen to the audio? Yes. 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 Could you identify yes. some of the adjectives that we studied yesterday? Yes. 
Which one? Yes, Which teacher. one did you listen? Elegant. Elegant. Fancy too. Ah, ah, you listen to many adjectives. Very good. Could you identify which car was his favorite? His yes. favorite is Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> Why? Why do you think that Mercedes was his favorite? He said the stylish. Okay. And and design elegant is more elegant than. <laughs> ah, all right. So that's correct. His favorite was the Mercedes, okay. right? Of course, he mentioned many positive aspects about the Toyota, but his favorite was the Mercedes. Very good, very good. Now, we are going to listen to it, the audio again, but now we are going to complete this table. I wanted to put a check or write a check in the characteristics or the description that he mentioned. For example, if he says more reliable, which one? If you listen to the audio, you have to identify for him which one was more reliable. If you think that it was the Mercedes, so check in there. But if you think that it was a Toyota, okay, check in there. Okay, the idea is complete that box, complete this chart and choose the correct description for each car. I'm going to play the audio one more time. Everybody, please, microphones off. Everybody, microphones off to avoid interferences. Okay, pay a lot of attention. I've owned a few different cars in the past. I had a Mercedes for a few years as well as a Toyota. Obviously, there was a difference in price between the two, with the Mercedes being much more expensive than the Toyota. Out of the two, I found the Toyota to be much more reliable as I never had a problem with it. The Mercedes, on the other hand, gave me several problems, and when it did, it was usually a lot pricier. So as a result, the Toyota was a lot more affordable, both in terms of price and the cost of running it. But the Toyota was also a lot more functional, which was good for day-to-day -day use, as it was a lot more practical than the Mercedes. But to be honest, it was also a lot less exciting. You could really feel the power in the Mercedes, and the design, wow! It was much more stylish and so much more elegant to look at than the Toyota. It was like a piece of art, inside and out. Their customer service was more helpful than any other I've used very quick to help with any issues that I had, and very polite. So overall, I have to say that I like the Mercedes more, even though it cost me a lot more time and money than the Toyota. All right, do you have the answer, everybody? Yes. Yes, yes. I have. Yes, okay. yes. Which one or which car was more reliable? Toyota. That's correct. Very good. Very good. How about price here? Mercedes. 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 Mercedes was pricier? Yes. yes. Definitely. How about more affordable? Toyota. 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 Very good. And more functional? Toyota. 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 Definitely. More practical? You're a Toyota. 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 More stylish. Mercedes. Mercedes. More Mercedes. elegant. Mercedes. 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 <laughs> and which one has a more helpful customer service? Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So if you see, we have different aspects and we are using comparative adjectives. Okay, so at the end, according to the description that this man offered, again, which car would you rather? Do you still want the Toyota or would you go with the Mercedes? Toyota. <laughs> you don't change your mind? Toyota. It's a, a pendel occasion. Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> so, if you have a lot of money to pay, 
you know, all all the aspects, you can go with the Mercedes, right? Yes. But <laughs> right. if you want to save money, so Toyota is the best option. A very good job. How did you feel the audio? The listening practice was easy or difficult? What do you think? Difficult. Easy. <laughs> okay, some of you say easy, some of you say difficult. And easy. the rest of you, easy? Yeah. Ah, very good. I understand a lot, no. You understood a lot of the vocabulary, right? Yeah. Excellent. So the idea, everybody, is to memorize the vocabulary, but also try to use it. And that's the idea for the next activity. Now we are going to practice speaking. And in the speaking practice, we are going to try to use the vocabulary. Okay. For example, the first question, what product you have bought would you describe as reliable? We already studied the meaning of this word. So think about all the um, devices or all the products that you have bought recently. Which one do you consider reliable? What do you think? Uh-huh. For example, uh-huh. It's something like when you trust in, in, in something. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. So imagine, for example, you bought a product, for example, a cell phone, and the cell phone only works perfectly for two months. Do you think that that cell phone is reliable? Yes or no? No. No, really? But imagine that you bought a cell phone and you have five years with the same cell phone and no problem at all. Oh, is that reliable? Yes. Yes. Definitely. So that is what I want you to do in the first question. Tell me an object that you bought that you describe it as reliable. For example, in my case, I bought a washing machine and it's totally and perfectly working after five years. Any problem? So for me, it's reliable. Can you mention another product that you have bought that you describe it as reliable? My phone, maybe. My phone is Samsung. It is reliable. Ah, very good, very good. Anyone my, else? My, my, my TV is, is a Samsung. It's good, uh, reliable. The six year. Wow, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Uh -huh. In my case, I have a laptop Lenovo and mm -hmm. have about more than five years. And then it's reliable for me. It's a, it's a good um, brand. Uh -huh. yeah. Very good, very and good. And for me too, my laptop, but it's Dell, the brand. The brand is Dell. It's okay. good, it's functional and practical too. How many years do you have it? it Five years, I think. Okay. Five, more or less. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good example. So that's what I want. I want you to think in a product. Tell me why do you think it's reliable? Okay. So we are going to ask and answer these questions. Remember, everyone, try to give as many details as possible. If you will compare, remember the rules. If it is short adjective, Let's add ER. If the adjective is long, so you just have to add the word more. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. Okay. And we are going to go to the breaking rooms a couple of minutes in order to practice. Um, there are some listeners. So if you are in a group where nobody is talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Okay, so let me create the groups. One moment. Okay, let's go to practice. Zero Spanish. Okay, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, Carlos. Hello, hello, Carlos. Are you there? Hello. Yes. Yes. We are going to practice with the, some questions. Okay. I... I'm going to read it. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Hello. I hello. Okay. Magdaleno y Rosalina. Yeah, oh, sorry, no. I Jamie, Jamie. I joined you. Sorry, Hola. Uh, Hello. you were you were in different teams, but I joined you. Okay, so practice okay. all of you. No problem. No problem. It's better. More <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Thank you. Teacher, okay. We can we can share a screen, right? Ah, yes, it's here for the photo. Ah, uh, for the question. The picture. Okay, the second question. Is that right? Huh? Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay. What products? Uh, the second what question. Products, okay, the second. Which product do you think are quite Affordable. quiet or quite? What is the correct pronunciation? With. With. Affordable. With affordable. Quite. Is quite affordable. Quite affordable. Yes. Okay. What, is the what do you think? The meaning of quite, remember, quite is like very. very that is the meaning of quite. Okay. Which product do you think are quite affordable? Affordable. Which product? Mm. 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 about what food? <clears throat> what kind of products? Could be could be clean products, for example. Ah, for example, yes, it's a good example. For example, rinso. toilet paper, rinso. Because it's the price is is a uh, average, no? No yes. increase. No increase. Mm -hmm. no increase. Uh, soap, soap. Uh -huh. uh, um, do you know Suli? Excuse me? Suli, do you know Suli? Uh, so, yes, this is a, it's a cheaper brand in the supermarket. Yeah. yeah. I quite remember quite the, the the smart member selection is a a a, a price and price mark. affordable 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 no, affordable, affordable. Yeah. Yeah. it's like an big line no the products maybe uh -huh. I do some purchase on price mark they have a, a, a lot of prices uh -huh. with for i don't know what is the word to say uh, buying with uh, big quantities big quantities or big quantity quant quantities so quantities yes yes what are the for that I, I saw that that brand is a, a selection member the the price is less than, than the, the the normal price the products in that supermarket yes i prefer but yes in in my case the 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 gel is is more affor, aff, is more affordable than mac or or hp the HP, the hp has more problems than uh, tell 
No, it's not the program. It's, it's the system. It's the capacity that have in, in my in my computer. But it is the system. Is the is different than, than Mac. Is different the the system or the software is different because Mac is for Apple mm -hmm. and Dell is Android or or, or Windows Windows sorry Windows system is. For me, it's functional, it's practical, and I prefer. But the price is it is 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 more expensive but than both, Mac. But than both, Dell. But both are a, a good brand. Yes, yes, it's good brand and functional. For me, it's functional and practical. It's it's it's, it's affordable in my in, in my opinion. Okay. I, I want to know. Uh, which the HP or Dell, which is the best? HP or, and Dell. I don't know because I never have been. I never have for me, used for me, HP. <laughs> for me, is HP. Oh, it depends that you can use or it depends that, that your experience about the the, the laptop. <laughs> oh, yes. But but the, the bot brands are good. Yes, yes. Yes. Bots is good. It's, mm -hmm. are a good brand. HP and Dell oh. are the, are better. Yes, but in the in the question say that the which product do you think are, are quite affordable, that affordable for me, in my case, in my opinion, that Dell is affordable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And you, Fatima, which uh, which product do you think are quite affordable? Affordable. Um, or you, Nelson, the, the the cell phone you talk about, your cell phone is affordable for you. Your is. You think that is. Uh, yes, yes, for me it's it's affordable. Which cell phone? Which it's brand? Red is a Redmi Note and Nike is. But which brand is your cell phone? Samsung, LG, or Huawei? It's, it's, or? it's, a, it's an, uh, a new brand. It's oh. Redmi Note. Have you ever oh. heard about Redmi oh. Okay. oh, yeah. I think it's affordable. It's affordable. Okay, the third one says, what was the last thing you bought that you thought it was pricey? Was it worth the money? Why and why not? I, I... <clears throat> What was the last thing you buy? Did you buy? You bought than you mm. thought you was pre say pre is, is pricey. expensive? Pricey. Yeah, pricey. pricey. It's in the name from expensive. What was the last thing you bought that you thought was so? pricey? Yes. Uh, the last thing um maybe okay. um i don't remember it could be a pair of shoes a t-shirt pants I don't a remember. cell phone too could be um the last the last Imagine, Holman, imagine you bought the, the new iPhone. The new iPhone, imagine, imagine you bought the new, the new iPhone. It has the same uh, characteristics from the Samsung. Do you think you invest your money or you, um, it was a worth, you waste your money? In my case, I think mm -hmm. if you have money for buy uh, uh, for for buy uh, 
de iPhone. Anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. You, it's okay, but if you don't have money for for that, but you can uh, uh, save uh, save money for a lot of weeks and months. You can buy, but it's for juice is is mm -hmm. very. It's, it's cheaper. It's, it's expensive. Okay. But I think it's, it's not necessary if uh, there are a lot of cell phones uh, <laughs> with good quality and yes. the cell phone have the, the same uh, the cell phone things. Has do you do you uh, mm -hmm. the has uh, the same things do you do you, need, do you want for me it's a, a luxury i can as uh, uh iphone is low gallery i don't remember from logo I think okay, we're so losing you. Look. Okay, Isabel, what do you think? Mm, what is the question? The question is, uh, what was the last thing you bought that you thought that, uh, that you thought was pricey? Pricey. Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> I think Okay, imagine you bought yesterday the pair of shoes uh, and the price was $122 and today you saw the same pair of shoes but with other brand and it cost um 45 dollars so do you think your first uh, your first pair of shoes are pricey or not yes i Yes, okay. uh, I think the um, something important in the product for a product to be functional or stylish. Why? I believe that the most important is functional, because yes, when you too. when mm -hmm. you buy something is is because you are needing this product, and so uh, it, so it's most to be functional for. For, for you. But when you buy a, again a cloth, do you think it's for functional? It's more important? For me, it's yes. important it's... the functionality. Uh -huh. and for she, for she is good, I understood. But I, Magdalena. <laughs> Hello? For shared for I. Is more functional than stylish, you know? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because you use the church to functional clothes than stylish clothes, no? Okay, uh, okay. If you if if the product is a clothes that does uh, the clothes is going to be two points. Functional and stylish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have the rest. But uh, for me, I think it is more important the functional. Eh? And yes. For yeah. me and Magdalena also, creo. I think. Yes, because, I think so. because you have to satisfy. Satisfy. Uh, uh, 
a needy. Ah. Ah, ah, hello. hello. Hi, hello. hello. This is just coming. Ah, <laughs> interesting answers. <laughs> All right, I liked it. So I think that it depends on the situation, if it is going to uh -huh. be stylish or functional, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about you, Carlos? What do you think? Carlos, I want you to participate, please. I almost never listen to you. All right. So, can you tell me, anyone, about the question number three? Can you tell me something that you bought recently that it was pricey? Maybe you're funny. You're, yes. Maybe you're laughing when I talk about <laughs> like, that experience. Uh huh. No, tell me. I want to hear. <laughs> okay. I went with my little child, uh, Dennis, restaurant. Because he told me, I want to eat hamburger in that place. Okay, go. And when I saw the menu, it's so nice, the pictures. And say, okay, that and that one. But uh, uh, hamburger without French fries, without beverage. In addition, the end, when I ate this uh, check, near $40 for hamburger. No way. He lead me and my son say, hi mom, sorry, no problem, problem. But <laughs> I, I say when I, when I uh, out, okay, Diego, tomorrow, Pay me back. <laughs> yes, tomorrow, eat any, and don't tell me, mom, give me that. No, forget it. Oh, I spend the money for the last week, for the all week. Definitely. <laughs> so basically, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. <coughs> oh, no, I, no. Yeah, my goodness. Okay. Let me say that it's delicious food. Yes. But if you, uh, if you come, that you need to bring enough money, no? Because Definitely. <laughs> The surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> very good, very good. How about you guys? Can you mention something uh, pricey that you bought recently? Jamie, say. What? Yes, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm playing the question that is talking about. Hello. Yes, Jamie. What was what was the the question? The, in the second. number in no the number three. Can you mention something pricey that you bought recently? Um, I bought a Korean that believed that it was pricey, pricey, but I I need it, so I have to push it. <laughs> How, how much was it? Is almost a uh, for forty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> almost oh, forty. <laughs> was it worth it? Not, not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for you, <laughs> Magdaleno. How about you? Did you buy something pricely recently? <laughs> Recently, no. I remember two occasions when I was on the army, when I was a soldier. Uh -huh. uh, one day, I remember when, when we was working at a hotel, Intercontinental, hotel, Intercontinental Hotel. Mm -hmm. We are at, the, at night, and someone of my team um, asked for a coffee, a cup of coffee. And when he paid, and when he, paid, when he paid that for seven dollars, seven dollars for a cup of coffee, <laughs> it was so crazy. But was it delicious at least? <laughs> a coffee. So it wasn't worth it. 
It just got me. <laughs> Didn't include bread at least. No, <laughs> nothing, nothing, just a cup of coffee. <laughs> totally expensive. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you everyone for sharing your answers. Now let's go back to the main room. Okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Time's up. Let's go back. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Time's up, everyone. We are going to wait for them. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's go back, everyone. Time's up, time's up. All right, we are waiting for the rest of your teams. Let's go back, everyone. All right, time's up, very good. Okay, everybody, very interesting answers. I was listening. Uh -huh. Okay, could you answer all the questions, everybody? No, we missed the last one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, but we didn't have more time. Sorry that you couldn't answer the last one. And the rest of the teams, could you answer all the questions? No, two, we missed the last one. You missed the last one too? Yes. Okay, all right. Well, we are going to check some details. Feedback, something that I really liked, everyone, is that you are giving details. I like that. I was listening to some teams using comparing adjectives. I like that too. And I love the way that you remember the vocabulary. I know that is difficult, but in some questions that are, for example, affordable, functional, and you remember the vocabulary. So that's pretty good too. Excellent job. Um, something that I liked in some groups, I was listening to some people when they don't understand the question, some of your classmates, explain but in English and that's what I want. Very good. So you avoid Spanish. Very good. Now, a important aspects that we need to keep in mind and I'm going to share some sentences that I was listening to in some groups. Tell me if the sentence is correct or not. Look at the number one. The price is not change. Is that sentence correct? What do you think? The price is not change. Is correct? Doesn't change. Ah, very good. So mm -mm, we cannot say the price is not change. No, the price doesn't change because it's third person, okay? Then we have this word. What is the pronunciation, everyone? Affordable. That is the correct one, affordable. I was listening to some people with some struggles pronouncing this word, so practice it, affordable, affordable. Okay, look at the next one. Both are a good brand. Is that correct? Maybe it's plural mixed with uh, singular. So what would be the correct sentence? Could be both are good brands. Correct. Uh, uh, yes. And uh, the <laughs> Exactly. Good job. So remember, if we are talking in plural, everyone, let's complete the sentence in plural. Okay, both are good brands. Okay, look at the next sentence. You have money for buy a cell phone. 
What do you think? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes to or no? Buy? Ah, very good. Cool. Your rounds. Your rounds with so, buy. Look, prepositions in English are important, everyone. So we are going to say you have money to buy a cell phone. Okay, that is the correct proposition in this sentence. And the last one, we was working. We were. Ah, we were. very good. So we were working. So remember, was is only for singular or third person, but not for plural, okay? So if you see little details, everyone, that we need to keep in mind, in this practice, the main observation is plural and singulars. You are doing great job comparing, good, but now the problem is plural and singulars, okay? Keep in mind that, please. So what is your difficult the practice? What do you think? Easy. <laughs> Interesting. All right, okay. Now, listen, in this speaking practice, I listen to you, anyone talking with more confidence. I mean, I remember the first week you talk a little nervous, you didn't give details, but during this speaking practice, everyone, you are giving details, very fluent, zero nervous. So that's what I like. You sound more confident. Excellent. I love that. So please keep going, keep practicing. Okay. Now we're going to stop talking about comparing brands and we're going to check today topic that is pricing and strategies conversation. Okay. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about pricing. Why is that important? What aspects do we need to consider before deciding the price of a product? So that is what we are going to continue studying today. And here we got some vocabulary. This vocabulary is in your manual in the page 20. So if you got the manual, let's go to the page 20. Here we got. So we got these expressions and we got the meaning. So let's try to find out the correct definition. Imagine if I say product designed. We already studied what is the meaning of product. We already studied what is the meaning of designed. So product designed. Hmm. What is that? What do you think? To create a new product? Or... Uh, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. customers. Uh -huh. Do you agree, everyone? Mm. For me, yes. The second, the second one. Or the, the second, second one, way, I guess. the use of a name term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace. Mm, okay. So everybody, what do you think? We are going to do individually. I'm going to give you, let's see, five minutes because we got five words. You got five minutes to match these words. Ten minutes. Sorry? Maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> it's more than you know. Okay, so I wanted to match these words <laughs> with these meanings. Okay? Go ahead. If you get a word that you don't know what the meaning is or you don't understand exactly, tell me and I will help you, okay? So everybody, go ahead. Complete this match. Five minutes.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. If you find a word that is new for you, tell me. If you don't know the meaning, I can help you with that. You have three more minutes. Three more minutes to complete the exercise. Teacher, excuse me, I don't remember the concept of capable for in the number three is capabilities. Okay, let's see in the number. Oh, capabilities. So characteristic of a product that describe appearance, components. When we talk about capabilities, it's like the abilities, the things that you can do. That is basically the meaning the skills. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you have a question, everyone, let me know, go ahead. One more minute, one more minute to complete the exercise. If you have a question or a word that you don't understand, let me know. All right, everybody, do you have the answers? Yes, I have the chair. Yes, and the rest of you, everyone? Yes, miss. Yes, yes. Okay, let's find yes. it out. Number one, product designed, what is that? <laughs> Volunteer? In my opinion, the number one product design is to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. Okay, everybody. I, I, I too. I agree. I agree. Yes. And that is correct. Very good. So if you chose this one, the answer is correct. Very good job. Okay, a volunteer, can you read the definition for after sale services, please? The help and information that is provided customer after they have bought a particular product. All right, everybody, do you agree? Yes. 
Yes. Yes, yes, we were there. yes, I am. And that is the correct one. Excellent job. Let's move on to the number three. Volunteer for reading the definition, please. They use and uh, make them symbol or design the gear of bros unique identify in the marketplace. Thank you, Oscar. What do you think, everybody? Is that correct? For me, no, I think that this process to create an imaging of product in the minds of the customers. Mm, okay. So we got brands. Brand. Everybody, anyone else? Do you have another idea? For me, in my opinion, brands is the use of a name, term, yes. symbol, and design to give a product and unique identify in the marketplace. This is for me, brand. Yes, is the use of a name. Okay. For me, it's product position. That's that the use of name. It's this product position where you use the name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace. For me, it's product position, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, well, but you are trying and that's what I want you to do. I want you to use these terms and analyze. Remember, the idea for this exercise is don't translate. I don't want you to translate the words. I want you to give meanings. And the brand, the correct one is the use of a name. Remember, what is a brand? We studied that before. Brand is a name, for example, Coca-Cola, okay? Brand can be a symbol, for example, Nike. When you see this check, ah, that's Nike, right? So we are trying to talk about something that makes the product unique in the market, right? So that is the meaning for brand, very good. I need a volunteer to tell me what is the meaning of features. Uh -huh. Feature is a characteristic of product that describes its appearance, components, and capabilities. All right, everybody, do you agree? I agree. Yes? Is the rest of you? Yes. 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 Actually, if you remember, we studied this word before features. A synonym is characteristics. Characteristic. Okay? Exactly. So we got the last one product positioning is the process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the customers basically. So these are the correct match. How many correct answers did you have everyone? Five, four? Yes, three because three? I, <laughs> for me three because I think that that brand is first position and not this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mistake. All right. Okay. And the rest of you everyone? How many I correct five. <laughs> I five. Okay. Okay. I have, I have all of them. All of them. So listen, everyone, I want you to try. I'm not asking for perfection in this class. No, I asking for participation. I'm asking to try. That's what I need. It's okay to make mistakes here in the class, but if you never try, we never know, okay? Super good job, excellent. So these are new vocabulary, okay? Try to keep it in mind. Now, we are going to have a practice talking about the prices of a product. I have some questions and I have some answers. I want you to match the correct question with the answers. Again, this is in your manual. Let's go to the page 21. The first question says, how will you distribute your products? Imagine that you have a company and you want to sell a product. How will you distribute your product. 
What will be the correct answer to that question? What do you think? In my opinion, it could be the number four. We sell our products through a retail channel. Okay. Yes, number four. Number four, everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. To say the retail channel. Okay. So, everybody, yes? Yes. And yes, that is the correct one. I'm going to paste it. So, how will you distribute your product? Ah, well, we sell our products through a retail channel. Number two, volunteer for reading the question number two. It says, who are you selling to? Thank you. What will be the answer to that question, everyone? The second one. Okay. Do you agree? Who are you selling to? Ah, our customers are young North American families. What do you think? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Ah, very good. So remember, who are selling to? We are talking about the target market or the target customers. Number three, what value do you provide your customers? What will be the correct answer? The number three. Can you read it, please? They are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. Very good job. So when, oops, when we are talking about values, what do you think? What is that? What is values? What values are you selling? What do you understand in that question? Maybe teacher, when you add a plus for the rest of the growth, when you have a, a plus, yes, a, a extra, a extra value that, a extra thing that you offer in, in this case, eco-friendly is the value. Very good, exactly. You are giving more. You are giving something that the rest of the competitors are not providing, right? Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the next question. What are you selling? What is the correct answer? We build the number one. Ten. We build. Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. So what are you selling? Basically, you are just explaining the product. And then we got the last question. How will your how will you price the product? What will be the correct answer? Look. Our product, our price per unit. Be careful with this vocabulary, everyone, because we are going to have an activity right now and we are going to use it. So let's see the vocabulary. We have, we are priced per unit. What is the meaning of per unit? What the do you price think? For each, the price for each one. Aha, uh -huh. it's individual. Right? So basically we are buying one by one. Now, um, are considered high end. What is the meaning of high end? Any idea? No idea. Anyone? Okay, when we say high end is a synonym of high quality, okay? So you can say, I have a high-end cell phone. That means that you have a high quality. That is the meaning of high-end, okay? Yes, understood? Now, 
In one of the questions, they talk about retail channels. What do you think? What is the meaning of retail channels? What do you think? In Spanish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me the translation. De um, mayoreo, um, canales de mayoreo. Okay. No. Venta por mayor. Okay. What do you think? Everyone, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Google said yes. <laughs> ah, Mr. Google. Huh? Yes, we, uh, no, I checked that in Google. Seller? No, it's different to, to retailer. I'm sorry? The retailer is when you... Oh. Seller is different retailer? Actually, it is. So oh. listen, everyone, that is what we are going to check right now. Retailer is a person who sells product, but small amount, okay? Small amount. And when we are talking about retail, channels we are talking about um, the way that you can obtain a product or a service exactly yeah. so for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. retail channels for example there are some retail stores for example retail channels can be supermarket grocery stores, uh, what else, gas stations, okay? Those are examples of retail channels. So is the way that you can obtain a product or a service, okay? Another retail channel can be online. Can you buy products online, yes or no? Yes, right. yes. Yes, right? So again, we have different type of retail channels. We have retail stores when you can obtain the product on a supermarket, grocery stores. Also, we have online retailing. That means that you can buy the product, <clears throat> sorry, online through a computer or through the cell phone. And we have the multi-channels. That means that you can obtain the products in different ways. You can go to the store or also you can buy the product online. Okay, so you have both options. For example, um, Omnisport or La Curacao, all of those uh, companies offered multi-channel service because you can buy the product if you go to the store, but if you don't want to go to the store, you can buy the product online. So that is the meaning of retail channels. Is it clear the meaning of that word? Yes, yes. all of them is retail channels. Exactly. Actually, actually, I don't understand clearly because you explain retail, retail channel mm -hmm. could be the places where the customers, the final customers, can buy the product or no? It can be a place or the way that you can get the product. But listen, I mean, if you want to translate it, it's not like al por mayor, right? It's actually the opposite. So retail channels can be, if I explain it in Spanish, will be like como el canal de ventas, pero al por menor. So for example, imagine that I have a company, okay? So, ¿cómo voy a vender mi producto? I'm going to sell it in the retail channels. Al por menor, what does it mean? I'm selling, for example, yo puedo poner a la venta mi producto where? In the supermarkets, or I can sell my product online, or I can use both. I can sell it in my store 
or I can sell it online too. That's the meaning of retail channel. Es el canal por donde yo voy a vender my product. Okay, or if you are a customer, es el medio por donde ustedes van a obtener el product. I don't know if it is clear now. Yes, yes? actually it is the yes, way. Teacher. All right, so if we are talking about, uh, I listen to some people talking about mayorista or por mayor. So that yes, one. But I, yes, uh -huh. but I was yes, wrong because it's wholesale. Wholesale is al por mayor, retail is al por menor. Yes, exactly. I, I was wrong when I say that it's al por mayor retail. No, retail is al is a por menor. Less. It's a small, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's small amount. Exactly. Yes, sorry. No worries. Very good job. Okay, everybody. Is it clear the vocabulary? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now, what are we going to do? I told you that today we are going to have a lot of speaking practice. So in your uh, manuals, there is this activity. I want you to think about a national product or service, okay? Try to pick a, a brand that is a little bit famous, okay? And you are going to answer these questions, the ones that we already practiced. I'm going to give you an example, okay? And I want you to answer these questions imagining that you are the owner of that brand. For example, imagine that I am the owner of this brand, Yogurt Jess. Do you know this brand? Yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> okay. So, what will be the first question? What are you selling? I'm the owner of the company. Okay. What are you selling? Well, I'm selling a delicious and nutri a nutritious yogurt for every day. I have different options. Uh, I have different type of yogurt. So that's what I'm selling. Look, I'm thinking in the positive aspect. Who are you selling to? Ah, well, I'm selling the product to every member of the family. I have product for kids, teenagers, adults, uh, fit people, or people that they want gluten free. So basically we have products for every member of the family. Um, I think that there is a yogurt even for sugar-free. So imagine, perfect for the people who suffer diabetes. What value do you provide for, uh, for your customers? Remember, value is something extra that the, um, the competitors don't offer. Okay, um, the value that I offer is, well, I have natural ingredients, uh, mixed fruits, in the yogurts, and I have a perfect combination with flavor and nutrition. So my product is very healthy, okay? That's the value that I am offering. How will you distribute your product? Well, I will do it through retail stores, right? Like supermarket, convenience store, gas station. If you see, I'm not selling online. I'm just doing it through a retail stores. Now, how will you price your product? Ah, okay. I will price the product. Pay attention to this vocabulary. Per unit, okay, individually. Also, I'll price the product if you want to buy half dozen. So the price changes. Or if you want to buy the 12 pack yogurt. So there are three different ways that I will price the product. Per unit, half dozen or a 12 pack. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. Think about a national product, okay? And, or a service, the ones that you prefer. And I want you to imagine that you are the owners and you have to answer these questions. 
Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, se entiende everybody the activity? Are you sure? If not, I can give you another example or is it clear? It's same to yesterday, the yesterday's activity, right? With the difference that now you have to pick a product. It's not invented, right? That is the difference. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about the candy bars. Now I want you to do it real. I want you to think in a real product. Yes? Is it clear? Okay, it's clear. Excellent. So I already sent the questions on WhatsApp group. This activity it shouldn't take so long. So let's try to do it a little bit fast. Okay. Um, please, everybody, participate. There are some people who doesn't enter to the breaking rooms. Okay. So remember, participation is being evaluated. Okay. So everybody, try to participate. Well, let's go to work, everybody. Remember, in this moment, I don't want you to talk in Spanish. Full English, please. Let me just create the groups. One moment. Perfect. Okay, let's go to work. Ay, Fátima. Ay, ok. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. Ay. Can you hear me? Ok, Fátima, we cannot hear you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can hear you. Now. <laughs> yeah. Carlos? Carlos, are you there? Mm, okay, Star Girls, uh, I'm not sure if Carlos is there. I'm going to send some people to your teams, okay? But let's just start working you. Yes, okay. Mirna, what okay. are you? Oh, <laughs> which what role? Where are you? Which yes. role? Oh, Pamela is here. Hi, Pamela. Pamela, and I'm sending Holman, so maybe Holman can join you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, we are. We have to sing in a, in a product. What are you selling in a product that we are selling? Mm. Um, Diana, Boquitas Diana, <laughs> maybe. It's very common, it's, yeah. Yes. Boquitas Diana, what do you think, Holma? Our I, I, I talk in that. Oh, sorry. I talk in that. Okay. That's a good product. Okay, let's start okay. answering the first question. Okay, what are you selling? The first question is what are you selling? And it's, yeah. it's different. Uh, Snacks and candies. Yes. Yeah, and it's for old, old people. Yeah. A big, uh, I don't know what it is the name for that. Hi, teacher. <laughs> teacher, so, what is that? What is the thing what you have after the day what you are drunking? When you are what? Drunk. <laughs> when you no, I'm sorry, it's bad the, the sentence. When you You mean was... hangover? Hangover. Hangover or hangover? Hangover. Mm -hmm. So are you hangover? 
<laughs> no, I, uh, the par my partner, I don't... I'm with is... Hedek, not... Yes. Me. Ah, so she's the one. <laughs> yes, she is. She uh -huh. has a hangover. Ah, oh. Erika, my goodness. I'm not. <laughs> it's not right yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. It's... <laughs> right yet. Actually, okay. actually, she needs a six pack for for to medicine. Re to recover. <laughs> yes, for recover. The health. <laughs> so, Erika, you see, it seems like Magdaleno has experience on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do you already pick the product? Yes, Magdalena says pills. Ah, I said, I said, okay. yes, because I, I said cola champán. Mm. So, how about you, Isabel? Which one do you prefer, Pilsener or cola champán? Pilsener. <laughs> okay, so Pilsener. Oh so, imagine yeah, that... double, double A. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so imagine that you are the owners. If I ask you, what are you selling? Pilsener. No, tell me something interesting. So how would you describe your product? What are you the selling? The water of the life. The water <laughs> of the life. Yes. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, water, a very healthy water with just a little alcohol in it. Okay. Very happy water. <laughs> Okay. The happy water. <laughs> the happy All water. right. So what you can do, because we don't have a lot of time, you can answer one question, each one. So for example, Erika, you can answer the number two, Magdaleno, the number three, um, Isabel, the number four. So <clears throat> you can try to answer each one and then we are going to present the information. Okay. 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 Very good. But try to discuss, please. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't have. I don't have uh, how to take. So notes. Magdalena, I describe have a little trouble. us. This, Magdalena, describe us a pilsener. Ah. It's a new. Lucy, Lucy, but this is correct. It's for number three. Ah, okay. But right now, right now, answer the second one. Who are okay. selling to? Who are you selling to for kids and young people? <laughs> Younger people, yeah. Teenagers. And... Teenagers, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, we have to do a presentation. I'm sorry? Can you repeat? Sure, can you, we have to do a present. Have to do a presentation. Oh no, yeah, no, no, no worries. It's not no necessary. Worries. Remember, right now. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. You okay, just have to answer you. the questions. Okay. Did you answer all the questions? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Until three more. Okay. What value do you provide to your customers? Uh huh. Protein. Okay. I think the value is the content of, uh, of the drink because yes. Uh, yes. this drink have proteins, mm -hmm. uh, some vitamins, and alimentitious characteristic, perfect for kids and teenagers. And you can drink it um, cold as a cold drink or hot drink with with cereal, marshmallow, and others. Ah, with, with, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Some vitamins. How will you distribute your product? Mm -hmm. Well, we can distribute in different presentations. And uh, for example. Uh, I think it's a, it's about channel. Ah, about, about the about the transportation. No, yes. no, no. Or, or about the, the place when you buy, when you sell that product. Do you remember talking about retailer? You said in stores or? Huh? Ah, okay, or okay. 
Bye. Diana I don't have. Don't yeah, have. Diana don't have a store retail a store or retail online store. I'm not. I'm. I'm not sure, but maybe they don't have. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> And the last one, the, how do you, how will you price your product? Per unit? Yes. Yes, per unit. Um, and yes, per unit on a big bag, in a big bag. Um, in the supermarket, you have a different presentation and and it's but more for they they um sell to to the supermarket uh, how do you say mayoreo full sell full sell sell full full sell wholesale 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 i'm sending wholesale. in the chat Okay. Hold sale. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. But it's the retail cost. Retail, I don't I don't hear you. I, I think it's retail cost. Or the, the logistic cost. the logistic cost. Yes, the, the, the logistic for distribution mm -hmm. for distribution of the product. So we are selling pills in there for people who has ID. So the adult uh, to adult and the value the, is not the value. What is inside of the bottle is what um value. It's about what memories, <laughs> about the memories, memories you do. <laughs> memories, Paris with with your friends. And I don't know, relationship so the, with the It's, it's with all the time who you spend with the people that you love. Yeah. Yeah. And when, with people that you don't love a lot, maybe. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Yeah, could be and uh, the next. Uh, How would you distribute distribute your product for retail uh, retail like, channels for retail channels? Retail channel. online. Online no, no is no. illegal. It's, it's illegal. Yes, remember that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then the, the the last one is, how would you price your price your product? Uh, uh, checking the costs for retail, you said, right? Yes, the, oh, the, the logistics. Okay. You finish, everyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Which question is missing? Um, no, we are talking about the last one. How will um, uh, uh, the price nor the yeah the price? <laughs> okay, you have one more minute. And then we go back to the main room. Okay, thank you. Per unit, per 12, per dozen, <laughs> 12. Nice exercise, thank you. You finish, everyone? Teacher, teacher yes. what is the correct um, name for carbohydrates in English? Carbohydrate? Carbohydrate. You see, it's difficult. <laughs> but we can we can abbreviate like a carbs only carbs. Mm. Actually, yes, you can. It's carbs. not so common, but yes, you can say just carbs. carbs. It's like a slang, it's carbs. 
Yeah, it's less frequent. It's like less a little bit more informal, but yeah, informal. you can use it. Mm -hmm. But okay. you can use it. Yes. Would you Carb would you repeat the pronunciation, please? Carb Carb Carbs. No, no, no. The, no, the, the, the correct. Carbohydrates. 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 Mm -hmm. Carbohydrates. Okay. Carbohydrates. I think okay. I got it. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you finish? Yeah. Very good. Okay, let's go back to the main room. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. Let's see. Okay, we are waiting for everybody to go back to the main room. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Let's see, let's see. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right. There are some people that are still in the breaking rooms. Let's go back, everyone. Okay, now, time's up, listen. Okay, did you feel that the practice was easy or difficult? What do you think? Easy, difficult? What do you think? Or 50-50? 50-50. Okay. <laughs> the rest of you, everyone, easy or difficult? Say 50-50. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so listen, the idea for this type of practice is to talk. That's what I want. Remember, that is the purpose for the intermediate level. So imagine that you are the owners. Let's start with the team number one. In the team number one, I had Erika, Isabel, and Magdaleno. Okay, let's see. Let's start with Isabel. Let me ask you, imagine you are the owners. So can you tell me what is the product that you picked? Okay. Um, what is the product? Our product is Pilsener. All right. Yeah. So answer the question number one. What are you selling? Um, we are Remember selling a, uh -huh. we are selling a, a quality a product the, of the high quality um, product uh, uh, a good price is our product is uh, acceptable in the mark and the um, how do you say mer mercado or market in the yeah in the in the market mm -hmm. okay and let's see erica who are you selling to okay okay our market is the adult the people who has id or who has more than 80 years old 80 uh, 18 <laughs> Ah, <laughs> okay. So teenagers, never. No, no. All right, okay. Magdaleno, what value do you provide to your customers? Okay, with our beverage, they could have uh, various memories with her families, with, her, with their friends. They could have uh, moments with a way to spend time with uh, her their, their I don't know how do you say loved with ones your friend, with, her, with their loved ones ah so you are selling those beautiful moments 
Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, a member of the team, volunteer, how will you distribute your product? Erika, Isabel, or Magdaleno, answer the question. In our team, we'll, we'll talk about a uh, supermarket. Magdaleno says uh, grocery stores. Um, yes. In the gas stations? At the gas station, yes. Uh, but in not on internet, because Magdalena <laughs> says is illegal. <laughs> is it? Uses that. <laughs> well, we never know. We would try it. And the last one, how will you price your product? We price the product checking the costs for raw materials for I, I forget again retails I don't know what is that <laughs> distribution retail Erica, channels retail Erica, channels what? we talk about logistic too so explain me that about to, how to be uh, uh, nah, nah. <laughs> oh my goodness you I are... forgot you were sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay imagine okay let's stop there thank you team nice job imagine just imagine that the rest of your classmates are people from other countries that they want to sell the product everybody tell me los convencieron did they convince you Yes or no? Teacher. Uh-huh. I think they are thinking I drink in pizza now. <laughs> I think so. Yes, yeah, they forgot <laughs> everything. That's why they forgot the words, everybody. It's not Friday yet. Go they on. are alcoholic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Because of the time, I cannot ask to everybody, but no worries, because tomorrow I will. So don't uh, lose the answers. Try to remember the product that you picked and the answers, because tomorrow I will continue asking to the next teams, okay? Now, before leaving very fast, I'm going to check attendance again. So if you listen to your name, say present. Carlos Abrego. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Okay. Um, Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Hector Francisco. Okay. Um, Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Juarez. Present teacher. Excellent. Magdaleno Escalante. Magdaleno. Okay. Um, Nelson. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Nelson Antonio, yes? Pres present. Thank you, Oscar Armando. Present. Very good, Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina, ah, oh, okay, very good. Uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Okay, <coughs> Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everybody, this is all for today. Only Holman stays. The rest of you, you can go to sleep. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, everybody. Thank see you. See you. Good night. good night. Take care. Only Holman stays, please. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. See you tomorrow. 
Okay, hello Holman, how are you? Holman, can you hear me? Hello, Holman, can you hear me? Can you turn on the microphone, please? Hello, Holman, are you there? Hi, hi, teacher. Okay, so Holman, this is a very quick meeting just for you in order to answer some questions that you may have. So this is your moment. Is there any question about the class or about the platform that you have? Um, uh, I think the the topics we are uh, uh, we are checking. Mm -hmm. Uh, are like a uh, review. Mm -hmm. uh, different um, um, models. Uh -huh. I think I think that uh, the topics are like a review. So kind of easy. Mm, uh, yes. Uh, uh, some, some, um, some, something, <clears throat> something, uh, are new, new, new topics. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, what do you feel is more difficult for you? Speaking, writing, listening, or reading? Which one is more difficult for you? Listen, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, nothing. You don't understand the audios. Just, just the, the easy. It, it very slow. Okay. All right. I, I can understand basic conversation. Mm -hmm. But when I, I. I try to understand uh, other topics like different. Uh, I I don't I don't understand all other topics. Ah, all right. Yes. Uh, easy easy conversations, basic basic Basics ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will help you with that. I will share a link with you. Can you see what I'm sharing in the screen? Yes. Okay, this is a nice website. I'm going to send the link on what uh, here on the chat. Um, in this website, you can find different topics. This is level A2, so it's basically for basic levels. So these audios are kind of easy, right? So. Imagine that right now you want to talk about movies. So you have to click on movies and you will listen different audios, okay? So for example, what kind of movie does each person describe? You can listen to the audio and you can answer the questions. And at the end, you, when you answer the questions, you can check the answers just to see if your answers are correct or not. And if you want, you can read the transcript so you can totally understand the audios. So it's a nice website where you can practice. If you feel that listening is, is difficult for you, you can practice that. And you can, as you see, there are different topics that you can practice, okay? I'm going to share that link with you. And if you have free time, you can practice that. So. With the practice, you will improve your listening because I know it's difficult for everyone, but little by little, we can continue improving it. Okay, I already sent the link on uh, here in the chat so you can practice in your free time. Okay, okay. very good. According to the platform, uh, Holman, I can see that you have been working on that. Very good job. So uh, I could see that you 
finish the unit number one. And basically you are about to finish the week number two. Excellent job. Keep going like that. Like okay? that. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question before Any leaving? Any other question? Or comment that you may have? Sorry, sorry, teacher. I have a problem with the audio. Okay, can you hear me? No, I Hello, can you hear me now? I, okay. I have... okay, so uh, I don't know if you have any other question about the topics. Uh, no, my problem is uh, I, I feel uh, there are a lot of topics and I, I understand uh, once one topic and then I I I check other topic and later I check other topic yeah. for me uh, there are a lot of topics and sometimes I I I I feel Tired, I feel confused. I confuse on the uh, one topic with other topic. Then I, for me, there are a lot of different topics. I know, and I know that that is difficult. So my recommendation is the following. Focus on the vocabulary, all right? Not in the topic. So for example, every class, I recommend you to have your notebook and write the vocabulary and try to memorize that. So don't pay attention. Uh, what is the specific topic? Don't think that ah, I need to memorize what was the topic from Monday. Uh, I need to memorize what was the topic on Wednesday. No, focus on the vocabulary because at the end, when you are talking, you will be talking about the vocabulary. You will use the vocabulary, not the topic. Yes? So that is my recommendation. Focused on the vocabulary. Take note about the words that are new for you, and that is the ones that you need to memorize. Okay? Um, yes. Um, okay. Um, when the when the, the model uh, finished, I I I I check the 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 oldest topic the uh, science science. Uh, the the basic two, the basic three, I... Do you review the previous topics? Yes, uh, when when the, the last to, uh, top, uh, the last module finished, mm -hmm. I have to, to, to check the, the, the size. I don't remember, what can I say? That's the size. Since? Since. Uh -huh. Since the 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 oldest topic for to don't forget because mm -hmm. I, I I I try to 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 have a know the basic clear the, the basic clear. Yeah, that's a very useful idea because remember if you know the basis. It will be easier for you to talk. That's yes. excellent. Mm -hmm. Always when when the model, the last model finished, mm -hmm. I check the, the oldest topic, but I I check the basic two, basic three, basic four, but I I I I check a lot of topics and I know I I, I uh, I feel very confused, very stressful, 
because I I I I try to 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 have the the basic topic very clear. For me, it, the basic is very important, and so when I I think in this moment in this model I have a review of the the all all topics. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and that's super good. I'm glad you do it because doing a review is very useful. So if you don't want to feel like overwhelmed, as I said, try to keep in mind and focus on the vocabulary in this level at least, because if you see, we don't see or we don't study a lot of grammar topics, right? So try to focus on the vocabulary and keep going, keep trying to review the previous vocabulary, the previous topic, because it's very useful for you. You are doing great, Holman, you are doing a good job because you are participating in the class, you are always paying attention, and that is something that I like. So please keep going like that, okay? Okay. Very good. Well, we don't have more time. Uh, so, uh, Holman, keep working on the platform, please. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay. And uh, good night, teacher. Thanks for your time. You're very welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.